Hello Chattanooga, here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, a man who killed his pregnant wife Sunday in Saudi Daisy raped a 15-year-old girl the same day before fleeing and later taking his own life, court records show. 34-year-old Terry Lee Realford duct taped the girl and held a gun on her while he assaulted her multiple times, according to court records. That's the same day he beat his wife, Tammy Realford, so savagely that authorities have been unable to determine whether she was also shot. Next up, new findings are revealing more about health in the Chattanooga area. 30% of Hamilton County residents are now overweight. More people in Hamilton County die of heart disease, cancer, stroke, respiratory disease, and diabetes than the U.S. average. And Chattanooga's urban poor are less likely to have private insurance and more likely to die early. Between 2004 and 2011, the number of uninsured patients admitted to Hamilton County hospitals doubled. More than 48,000 uninsured people were admitted to local hospitals in 2011 alone. Senator Bob Corker now says TVA might be better off severed from the federal government. Corker says he isn't pushing to sell TVA to try to cut the federal debt as President Obama proposed last month. In fact, with nearly $25 billion in debt, Corker says TVA probably wouldn't fetch enough from buyers to pay what it owes. But Corker says converting the agency to a nonprofit corporation or transferring ownership to TVA distributors and customers might help improve the utility. More Tennesseans are supporting same-sex marriage. A poll conducted this month found that 49% of Tennesseans support gay marriage or civil unions, while 46% are opposed to both suggesting the state is now evenly divided on the issue. Meanwhile, 62% of Tennesseans say health insurance and other employee benefits should be extended to partners of gays and lesbians. 31% oppose that idea. Lake Winnie's new Sokia Water Park opens on Monday. Admission to the park is $31.95. Take a look. Well, we're going to open up Lake Winnie's newest water park called Sokia. Okay. Uh, we're going to have four slides to start off with in a kitty area in the Lazy River. Lazy River is approximately 340,000 gallons of water, and the kitty area is about 20,000 gallons. This is something that's a long time coming for Lake Winnie, and we're excited. Lake Winnie's uh, going out on a limb and they're, going, they're doing something unique where they're going to have the dry and the wet combined. So customers that come through the gate get the opportunity to both do dry rides and wet rides as well and be able to go back and forth between the two. Speaking of water, the first ever economic impact study of the Ocoee River has been unveiled. The Ocoee was the most visited whitewater river in the U.S. last year and it generated more than $43 million in economic activity for the surrounding 30-county region. Officials say the river could double its impact within a decade. Two bald eagles have been found shot in the Tennessee Valley. Wildlife officers found one near Saudi Daisy and the other in Monroe County. Both survived and are currently in recovery. An $11,000 reward is being offered for information leading to the arrest of the shooters. Also, a Maine man has been arrested on child pornography charges after the TBI says he talked a McMinn County girl into sending him explicit images of herself. And officials in Whitfield County say a two-month-old baby has died after her mother accidentally pinned her against a wall with their minivan. The sheriff's office says the baby's father was carrying her in a car seat Sunday while the mother was moving the vehicle. When the man walked in front of the van, the woman's foot slipped from the brake onto the accelerator. The man is expected to recover, but the baby died. Officials don't expect to press charges. In business news, home sales in Chattanooga have risen to a three-year high. Also, Volkswagen is donating $250,000 for disaster relief after the Oklahoma tornadoes. Finally, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office has announced they will be conducting sobriety checkpoints on May 31st. Ringgold, Germantown, Brainerd, and Spring Creek Roads are among the locations. The checkpoints will be conducted between 6 p.m. and 4 a.m. Turning to weather, there's a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m. today. Otherwise, we'll see partly sunny skies with a high near 83. The low tonight will be around 57. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.